Okay, so I know you guys have been asking for a Minecraft video for quite some months now. So, here is how to get ray tracing in Minecraft Java Edition. And, uh, yeah, so this is how it looks, you know? I'd say it's like a, uh, 8 out of 10. But yeah, so I guess, um, I don't know. Uh, if you ignore the fact that my 4070 is about to catch flames, you could... Maybe like and subscribe and uh, yeah, I guess uh, let's go straight into the tutorial. So the first step you have to do to get your sweet ray tracing is downloading Optifine. There's many ways you can download Optifine. My favorite is using a client like, for example, Lunar Client. But yeah, if not, you can watch a tutorial from the breakdown or something and that would work too. So after you um, run Optifine, you know, with Minecraft and it all works well, uh, you're gonna want to go to the link in the description, probably titled Shader or something, and it should bring you to hear so before you say this is a bit sus that i'm asking you to download a file from an unofficial website but this is actually just the um, the uh the shader the ray tracing shader but um i already had i already put the best settings in it so this is actually mine as you can see it was uploaded um, J um january 14th today is january 14th like i made this there's like nothing uh there's nothing like you know there's no viruses in this right so you're going to want to press here download and then some stuff may open and here's going to be your zip file so after you download uh, the zip file you're just going to want to transfer it from your downloads uh, to your desktop just like that uh, so then you're just going to here extract all extract and then close this look for the folder and then just put it right here and this you can just delete it so this folder let's see what it contains right so uh what it has is actually no zip file and a txt file so this is actually shader itself and these are the options complementary reimagined is actually a pretty popular shader and this txt file you know is like the options that are pre-made for you guys um so it can look the best without you having to mess with the settings so uh, we're just going to uh, keep this actually in the corner, and then uh, we're just going to do Windows key, Windows key plus R, and then type in this percentage app theta percentage, right? So then press OK. So after you're going to want to go into Dot Minecraft and uh, go to um, where is it? Yeah, shader packs. If it's not there, I think you may have to create it. I mean. I'm pretty sure that if you open Minecraft with Optifine and launch it all correctly, um, it should this this folder should show up here. Um, but if it doesn't, like I I don't know. That's like that's that would be kind of weird. I probably did something wrong, but I mean it worked for me and like tons of things would go wrong for me in Minecraft. But anyways, so after that, um, I'm not really going to do it because they're already in there. But uh, you're going to want to transfer these two things in there like that. It's gonna to want to put them in. I'm not going to do them because I already actually uh, have them here. But yeah, after you do that, you're just going to close all of this and open Minecraft with, uh, with Optifine. Okay, so after you do all that and open Minecraft, like I said, with Optifine, uh, you're just going to want to go here to your Minecraft settings, then video settings, and then shaders. The shader options should show if, you know, you downloaded Optifine correctly. So then if you click your shaders, um, this stuff won't show for you um, because this is actually just other shaders that I've downloaded. But it should show at least complementary reimagined on the top. I already have it selected though. So then after that, you're basically done. You know, just press done, 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 single player, intro world, and moment of truth. Uh, uh, give it a second. And uh, wait, let me just time set 1000. time set day oh okay yeah there you go so yeah boom um the uh the shader is in you can see it looks awesome and um yeah that is literally it um there are many different other ray tracing shaders that also exist um this one actually takes away lots of my fps as you can see i'm getting like basically 60 right now um but yeah you know that is about it just like i said um you know uh, maybe like and subscribe because this video took me a very long time to make and if you guys want to see more minecraft videos or more roblox videos please make sure to tell me down below and i'll see you guys in the next one uh, bye